Now we're going to be working with uh, the relationship between velocity and acceleration. Okay. Now one thing to note between velocity and acceleration, how to get from one to the other. Now the relationship between these two is when I move from velocity, if I differentiate my velocity, then I get an acceleration. Now if I want to get from acceleration, if I integrate it, then I get my velocity. Okay, so that's the relationship. Relationship. Okay, I'm going to differentiate to get acceleration. If I integrate acceleration, then I'll go back to velocity. Okay, so I want you to understand this uh, relationship. Now, also another thing, to, another thing to note is when we say differentiate velocity, we mean we're going to uh, differentiate velocity in terms of time. Okay, same thing here. We're going to integrate in terms of time. Okay, so hopefully this will make a little bit more sense when we actually put some numbers in and try and answer some real questions. So if we take a look at question one, now it describes a particle that moves uh, with an acceleration of a is equal to four. Now initially, it starts from the origin and the velocity is two. Okay, so they gave us a lot of information here. Now that initially, okay, initially means when time is equal to zero. Okay, and also the origin, if it starts from the origin, that's another way of saying x is equal to zero. Okay, my displacement is zero. And velocity is two, is simply just v equals to two. Okay, so when t equals to zero, x is equal to zero, and v is equal to two. Okay, so these are the values that we need to know. Now, part a. So we're going to try and find the expression of the velocity v. Okay, so how do I find v? Well, we just said before at the introduction that we're going to integrate acceleration. Acceleration is a is equal to 4. So, let's integrate it. So, v is, well, velocity is equal to the integration of 4. And again, like I said, we're going to integrate it in terms of time, or t. So, if I do that, okay, integrating is easy. We just get 4t. And we have a plus c. Okay, that's where these little values come in handy. Okay, we want to find this value of c. So velocity is equal to 4t plus c. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute uh, t equals to 0 when velocity is equal to 2. Okay, so if I do that, that way I can find my value of c. Okay, so I want you to sub all those values in. And we can see, okay, c is equal to 2. Okay, so in that, uh, in that case, let's rewrite my velocity equation and re uh, rewrite c as 2. Okay, then this will be my velocity equation. So v is equal to 4t uh, plus 2. Okay, so let's leave that up here. And let's look at the next part. So find the velocity after 3 seconds. Well, what's velocity? Well, velocity is equal to 4t plus 2. Okay, now after 3 seconds, that's when t is equal to 3. Okay, so what I'm going to do is substitute uh, 3 into the t. Okay, that's what I'm going to do here. So I want you to calculate that value, and we get, okay, velocity is 14, after 3 seconds. So v equals to 14 for that part b. Now let's try and find the expression of the displacement, x. Okay, so again, this is a good understanding of trying to find the relationship between my displacement, velocity, and my acceleration. Okay, so to find my uh, ex uh, expression for my uh, displacement, what I'm going to do is to consider this velocity. Okay, now I'm going to integrate it. Okay, so if I integrate it, okay, so x is equal to the integral of that velocity, which was 4t plus 2, and we're going to integrate it in terms of time, of course. So if I integrate it, this is what we will get. So 2t two, uh, two squared plus 2t plus c. Okay, again, we want to find this c. So to do that, again, we're going to use some of these values that we know up here. So we know that when t equals to 0, x is equal to 0. Okay, so let's sub all those numbers in. t equals to 0 and x is equal to 0. Okay, so this way we can find c. And in this case, c is equal to 0. So if I want to rewrite my displacement equation, x is equal to 2t uh, squared plus 2t. Okay, well, because my c is just 0. Okay, so this is a nice uh, question to get an understanding of the relationship between displacement, velocity, and my acceleration. Now, in question two, a particle is moving with velocity, v is equal to t squared. Find the expression of my acceleration a. Okay, so I have a velocity. Now, to get from velocity to acceleration, what do I need to do? I need to differentiate. Okay, so my acceleration is equal to 
uh, differentiating my velocity in terms of time. So velocity is equal to t squared. Okay, so if I differentiate t squared, that's just 2t. So acceleration is 2t. Now the next part, we have to find the acceleration after t, oh, sorry, after 10 seconds. Okay, well we know uh, my acceleration is equal to 2t, and after 10 seconds, that means t must equal to 10. So put t is equal to 10, and my acceleration after 10 seconds is going to be 20. Okay, so again, the thing to know here is velocity. To in, uh, if we differentiate velocity, we'll get acceleration, integrate acceleration, and we'll get velocity.